Hey guys, welcome to the Max. Ooh, sorry. You might want to better start that over. Start this over. I kind of like it like this. Now, yeah, good. Hey guys, welcome to the Max. <laughs> she wanted me to say something right there, and I'm just not gonna say nothing. Hey, we did find out who the egg thief is. And you may be a little surprised. Definitely won't fit in the cage. I, I'm not opposed to shooting her either. <laughs> okay. So we just figured out one piece of the puzzle and needless to say, I am not happy about it. So Colby laid some eggs. We thought we were dealing with like a possum, raccoon, something like that, coming up on our back porch, eating our eggs that we would leave out till we could, until we could get inside. So Aiden goes out today and gets two eggs out of the coop, puts them on the trap on the top and is inside like within 30 minutes, right? The trap is not sitting in my camera view on the side of the wall. It's kind of hard to explain, but anyway, I couldn't see the trap as low as it was on the side of the wall. So uh, we went back, we watched the camera, and I, we noticed that Aiden put the eggs down, he left, and then Hattie Mae come up, our big white dog, and the eggs are gone. They've just randomly disappeared. So we did a test, we put an egg out, on the other side of the door to the on the ground where you could see what was going on and we got her on camera y'all watch this okay so y'all know we had been telling y'all first thing we noticed was we were losing a lot of chicks back out by the barn i don't think the egg thief and the chicken eater were the same thing or the chick eater were the same is the same thing we've been battling agreed so Whatever is down there, we also had two ducks come up dead. Um, there were no major signs of, like, ripping it to shreds. So, we're not 100% sure what's going on with that. Um, we're going to try to, we're going to be hatching chicks, getting more chicks. So, we're going to be keeping a really close eye on that. Maybe even putting some cameras out there to figure out what's going on. Um, but the egg thief, we caught in the act. Yeah. Okay, y'all look by that little black bucket. There's an egg. Okay, so there we go, outside. Okay, so y'all saw us go out and get a trap for possum, coon trap. We were thinking it was probably a possum. I got set up, worked on it for several days, never caught anything. And we knew that whatever had gotten the eggs that Colby put outside, because Colby put some eggs outside, went out there, they were just all gone. And that really shocked us. So y'all had heard me mention about us using our security camera and rolling the footage back and trying to look and we never saw anything out of the ordinary other than the cat and the dog. We have an egg down by that black bucket right there where Harley's pointing. I call Hattie Mae, so she's gonna come in just a minute. And y'all watch this crazy dog. Okay, so you see her up there, but she sees us, so she's not doing anything. She's just looking, she's just waiting. Little egg thief. And she'll grab she it. She sees us in the door, but I'm gonna walk off in a minute. And she'll ha and she'll get it in her. She'll All take right there. it. Yeah, she's gonna come back. All right, here, little sneaky comes. There's the egg thief. There she comes. She sees us at the door. She's looking. She's looking. And she'll snap it in one minute. There she goes with it. 
Egg's gone. Egg's gone. That really caught us off guard that we didn't get anything out. Only the cat and the dog was on the camera. And that's what caused us to say, hey, we're going to set this little trap up and see if she gets it. And of course, y'all saw she did get it. So now what we basically have just decided is, look, guys, we can't, when we gather our eggs, for whatever reason, we cannot lay them on the back porch anywhere. We can't leave the buckets back there. We have to bring them straight in because we realized that she is literally eating the eggs. She waited until we were completely gone. Sneaky devil. She watched us and made sure we were gone out of her sight. But we were watching her on camera. She got that egg and walked across the yard in the grass. And that's where she was eating the eggs at. So that's why we never saw any shells on the porch or any slobber or any egg yolk on the porch. But now we know how to prevent our eggs from disappearing on the back porch because we caught the egg thief. And so, like Missy was talking about, it's not the fact that we just don't bring them in. Our, our coop is down at the very bottom, so you go through the, our hill, and you know, we're in a low-lying area, so if it's not just dead of summer, it's wet and nasty, so uh, Miss Magna might not like us walking in our boots and the house to drop eggs off. So a lot of times we'll knock on the back door, and Misty or, or one of the kids will come open the door for me or Aiden, and then sometimes they're in the school room or, or you know, everything going on, so we leave them right there. Well, we can't do that anymore. Yep, can't do that anymore because we have... They think that is literally eating the eggs <laughs> off the back porch. Okay, so what else is pretty strange today? Um, was it you that actually said something to me at first, or was it Aiden? Yeah, I like ran yeah. off in the ditch trying to figure out why the gate was open. Yeah, so if you see our property, most of the time we, we come in from the back side and we see the house in the front where, uh, you know, our main farm is. But behind us, we have a gate that's kind of closed off to just another way that we can leave if we ever needed to. So that gate pretty much stays locked the whole time and the keep the, the, the chain and also the lock, the padlock sits on the back side of that gate. So now people who know us like family, close family, knows that gate. But for the general public, no one really knows that gate. Even knows our houses back here. So this happened too. So um today I'm just, I'm in front of the camera because I got stuck with it. What we gotta do is our gate around the front. We had somebody cut it. Yeah. So we were driving back home, and I noticed that the gates open. So I'm looking at the gate, and I actually, Colby says, "Why is there mud all over the tires?" It wasn't I mud. Was it was like, like half gravel and mud. It I looked was like, like she was mud riding. I'm sorry, <laughs> I went off in the ditch just a little bit because I was trying to figure. I knew we know that that gate is not supposed to be open. So, when I pull up and I see the gate is open, I'm thinking, why is the gate open? So, I'm not even paying attention. So, we get down there and, and Aiden realizes that somebody has literally cut the chain. Yeah. Well, you see JJ back here. Uh, the thing, too, this is what kind of, I guess, pestered me, of course. But not only that, it, it gives me in a kind of a frantic way because I'm thinking, first of all, you should, no one should be getting on my property, no matter if you're climbing over a fence or walking through an open path. You shouldn't be on my property. And that goes for anybody who has property. I think anybody would vouch that. But to then cut, and I'm not talking about a, a little chain that you accidentally saw that it could have popped. I'm talking about it was literally cut in half. So now we and have a cut fence. that's pretty bold. That's yeah. pretty bold. So that tells me you're looking for something or you're after something. And you know you shouldn't be here. Or, yeah, you know you shouldn't be here. Right. So you can't say, well, we just accidentally wandered on the property and didn't know it was yours. You cut our chain and come on our property. 
and that's pretty bold. So we, I was mad about that. I was furious. Colby tends to handle those things a little bit more, but I was like, yeah, it's just like guns and blazes. <laughs> so again, like Misty said, it becomes a then it becomes a pester because it's like, okay, first of all, you cut my fence. Second of all, are you still here, or who are you? Because you're trespassing. Now we do have cameras, so we'll go through that footage. But the thing that scares us the most is. If you're willing to cut my fence. If you're bold enough or brave enough to do that. What are you looking for? And if you come any closer, it could be very dangerous for yeah. you. So we'll see in my thinking, push. because you guys know that I, we have released a kidnapping video where I have been kidnapped. So you guys know we have within us, I would say, um, I wouldn't say paranoia or fear or anything like that, but a healthy respect for being safe. So, and when, our kids play. I mean, our kids are yeah, outside our, all the time too. But my thing is, if you're bold enough to cut somebody's gate and get on somebody's property, then you'd be bold enough to kick their door in and bust on up in their house. If you're bold enough to bust up on somebody's property, you're bold enough to bust up in their house. So that's why I was immediately like, okay. I'll be carrying my gun around and... Even in the house. You better hope I don't find you. <laughs> so so here, here's Aiden. He, he's putting up the gate. I, actually, actually at work, Misty called me and this is when this was all taking place. So I, I got Aiden a chain. I said, Aiden, if you can get it together, um, just put it together. Okay, so as you see, this is the old chain. Yeah, they cut it in two. You can see, by the way, it was cut. That was bolt cutters. So old chain, new chain. Yeah, big difference. I gotta find the deadbolt. I don't know where it went. Uh, Got it. And, and again, back on a serious note, you know, Aiden was funny putting the chain on and, and we had a good laugh with the dog getting the eggs. But, you know, with it being our personal property, we, we, we don't know. I mean, this is a board fence now. This is not our barbed wire fence. So, the crazy thing is that somebody could have easily jumped the board fence. It's just a board fence. All it does is say, this is my property. It's not like we're Fort Knox and we've got barbed wire there on this side because really nobody knows this entrance. But for you not to climb the board fence to get over to the pond, or because that's over there by our pond, you can see our pond. So, you know, maybe somebody was fishing, which they shouldn't be. But I'm just saying maybe innocent mistake that you jumped my fence. But uh, you cut our chain. That's a big negative for me. You cut our chain. And so, why are you cutting our chain? So, for us, it does put a healthy respect and fear, not fearing what the situation is, but wondering no, why you're what here. what somebody could, could do. That's right. Because so we, we've been there. That's right. So, and, you know, our farm, like I said, we, our kids are playing always. We have a place at right by the house. Of course, we have cameras. We have security systems and all that good stuff. But no one should come on your own property. Mm -hmm. So, now, we're going to be checking out a little bit more closely our property lines. We're actually doing a little bit more fencing on our property lines. We, we probably want YouTube because at that point, it's going to be like Fort Knox from now on. <laughs> so, so again, we're having a great day. We try to have the positive notes. And like Missy says, it does pester us, but at the same time, we're going to watch it really closely in our chain now. You saw what Aiden had. You're not cutting it with just a standard bolt cutter anymore. And if yeah. I see you over there, you better have you better be able to run. <laughs> you better run fast. <laughs> In zigzag patterns. And, you know, we shared this with y'all because it's real life. We're, we yeah. know that we're not the only people that get, go through these kind of things. I mean, we have um, good friends the Styver shared recently what they went through. Um, we've talked to some other, even homesteader friends that some of you guys are familiar with just behind the scenes that go through these type things. We know we're not the only ones. We know that you guys face some of those problems too. And it is just part of life, but that's something that we kind of never expect. I didn't expect that. That's why I ran off the road wondering why the gate was open. So we know that those kind of things happen sometimes and it's just part of life and you have to deal with them accordingly and, and make sure that your family stays safe. Yeah, make sure these stay safe. That's right, because it's all about those kids, really. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you. Happy homesteading, y'all.